Okay, I bought uh, a lot of hard drives off the bidding website, and uh, it's a SATA drive. And I had trouble installing most of them. They were not recognizable. So here is what I figured out, which I couldn't find online very much information about how to get the computer to recognize these drives. All right, so first, uh, plug them in. Power cord. Is this it? A cord? Good. Alrighty then. Sorry about that. Okay, so now uh, this is. <clears throat> okay, so then you'll get uh, this on the screen. If. Uh, something's not working out right it's going to give you an error it's going to say incompatible so hit your control i button and it'll take you to this uh <clears throat> rapid storage technology setting menu so what i find is to make this uh disk discompatible you need to go down to uh, reset disk to non-raid so whoever formatted it and deleted it, I'm not sure what they did, but if you select this, it brings the disk up that was incompatible. Uh, you need to select it by pushing spacebar, and you'll see this little triangle show up. And then uh, enter will confirm it, um, letting you know that all your data will be reset. These were blank disks when I bought them, so that's perfectly fine. Yes, and boom, there you saw it. Went straight to uh, non-RAID compatible disk. Now from here we will escape, confirm, and this will load it up all over again. And we will continue after it boots up. Alright, we are still booting. This is an older PC, so it's a little slow. All right, we are here. And okay, so it's fully loaded up. All right, let's go over here and explore our files. It's not going to populate here either. Um, we have to do some disk management to make this new drive show up. So let's go into here. We just have the standard uh, C drive and uh, the hard drive we had before. So there's a few different paths you can go. The quickest one for me is just to go into the manager here. You can go through your your search uh, down here. We'll get you in there. And uh, there's probably one or two more ways to get there. So just wait for a minute for this to load. It takes a bit. Uh, here it comes. All right, so once you've got computer management up and running, you're going to want to select disk management right here. Uh, it's going to take a minute and read your drives. All right, it automatically found the drive. Uh, that wasn't quite configured correctly. So for my setup, I'm just going to use a master boot record. Uh, if you want to use a GPT, go right ahead. I don't really mess with that. Okay, so we still don't have the drive showing up yet. It is down here showing unallocated. So we will, it doesn't have a drive number or letter. So right click on it and we'll just choose to make it a new simple volume. The wizard will set it up with you. Uh, this is just going to be the maximum size by default. That's fine. Uh, just define a letter. That's fine. It can make up whatever letter it wants. <coughs> I'm going to store mine as an NTFS system um, and do a quick format, which is fine with what I use. All right. It's going to ask you to finish. And then now, uh, boom. 
it automatically populate it up there and open the drive right here. So it shows it's healthy. Uh, it's about a two gig, yeah, two terabyte drive. It gives you like 1860 gigs. All right, we will go back here to our folder and there we are. We have a new completely empty drive there all showing up for use nothing here all right hope that helped some of you i know that was a difficult thing for me for a little while till i figured it out thanks